next up, we're going to talk to Val from Searles Photography. And let me grab Val here. Hey, Val. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great tonight. How about yourself? I'm a little tired. I went mountain biking earlier to try and stay in shape because otherwise you just turn into a big blob sitting at home all day long. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife was telling me that we move from the living room to the kitchen, eat, <laughs> and then go back to the living room. And yeah, then back to the kitchen to eat, and then back to the living room. Um, I mean, we don't do that. We, 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 we've been moving a little bit and working, but you could get stuck in that. It's terrible. Oh, you gotta, yes. you gotta do something, especially with the weather being so, so, so you gotta get out and, and keep busy. Absolutely. That's gotta good. Stay healthy. Well, that's, and that's huge because, um, I just saw on the news today, they said the way to beat the virus is to be healthy, mm -hmm. you know? So if your immune system is good, you can fight it off. And, and if it's not compromised, you know, you can handle it. And so I thought, wow, what a great point. Why aren't more people talking about that? <laughs> but <Well>, whatever. <laughs> um, so let's talk about photography. Um, so, you know, in the midst of this, you know, physical distancing thing, what is um photography going to look like at a wedding is it going to be any different is it going to be you know pretty much the same because you've got a super cool camera or you know <laughs> what what's what's it going to look like there's a lot of factors that come into play um a lot of it has to do with the vendor the venues that we'll be shooting at and the venue and the, and the vendor cooperation between everybody um for us it might be a little bit easier because people will be more spaced out. So we'll have more opportunities to get some great candid photography. Right. Um, but the key thing is, is the health safety aspect of it. Um, most weddings, they're pretty congested. I mean, you can yep. get into the party and you got a lot of bodies in a small space. So that's going to be a huge consideration. Um, that's not something that we're going to have to worry about. It's more with the venue, venue, venue aspect of it. Um, the key thing with the brides and the grooms, they really have to, to figure out what's really important for them. What do they want to come home with um, at the end of the day? And that's always been a consideration for most couples. The key thing is it's going to be a slightly different. Um, for example, um, hours of coverage may change because most photographers won't be allowed in the homes for these getting ready shots. Um, for safety aspect of it, just to maintain social distancing. Um, the dances, those are gonna be less time as well, because we're not gonna be there involved when you have a bulk of people. All these things are gonna be mandated by what phase we're gonna be at when their weddings take place. Mm -hmm. Obviously weddings next year, hopefully we'll go back to normal. But right now we don't know that, so we have to take in consideration of which phase these weddings are. Now, if, if we have brides and, and grooms that may have their wedding in the next month or so, and they may just be just them. So the photography coverage that they will have is maybe a virtual wedding. So they might hire someone just to capture that virtual wedding and then utilize other time for a reception maybe next year when it's safer for everyone to gather. And then they can get all those great group shots that they were looking for. Um, so it's almost that much more important for them to be talking to you pre-wedding because of those little things to consider. Absolutely. Yeah. Because um, they could have booked for a full 12 hour day. And right now, from my perspective and my safety, I don't think I would be there for a full 12 hour day up maybe until maybe October timeframe, just because of the safety aspect of it and the volume of people. Um, I personally, I will be wearing a mask. Um, just because I don't want to be that one that brings something to the table to infect everyone. So that's going to be a whole nother dynamic that a whole nother discussion. Uh, well, I'm sure it'll be a beautiful black mask matching whatever <laughs> you're wearing. So oh, they no, won't even notice, purple. right? They won't even <laughs> it's know. It's going to be purple to match the hair. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> um, now, one thing that um, I, I had talked to a photographer about recently was engagement session. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and those are, I feel like I always think of them as, oh, they're one of those things that you do. 
But we were talking about it, and they said that it gave them an opportunity to get to know the couple. That's and correct. And it broke the ice. And so when the wedding came around, it was so much easier to do because you already have kind of this relationship with the, with the couple. And I right, thought, right. oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Why? Everybody has to get an engagement session now because you'll feel so much more relaxed. You'll have, you know, more of that camaraderie, right? Absolutely. And and unfortunately, we haven't been able to perform those services for our clients due to the shutdown. Um, we're hoping next month we can resume those activities and, and get to know our couples face to face if possible. Obviously, while maintaining social distancing, of course. Um, you can't just take them out in the middle of a field somewhere? <laughs> no, you can't. As long the as snow's you have gone. <laughs> And that's another consideration that clients need to talk to their photographers with because every photographer has their own different style. Yeah. Uh, some may not shoot with long lenses. Right. And that throws a whole different hindrance into how distance they can get from their couples. So right. that's another thing they should ask. Right. Right. Okay. All those little things that, that we need to know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, your couples uh, have to stay in close contact with you about all these little details. Right. Um, new couples that are looking for photography services, how do they get in touch with you? Um, easiest way is either directly through my website or email me directly at val at sorelsphoto.com. Wonderful. That's pretty easy. Awesome. Well, thank you, Val, for being with us tonight. I really appreciate that. And the insight um, is fantastic. So thanks again. We appreciate that.